Have you guys heard of agrivoltaics? The idea is you can grow your veggies and produce electricity in the same area. So as you can see there, I've got my vegetable plants down below. They're in individual buckets. This whole thing is actually on casters, so I can roll it around. And then up above it, there's a 560 watt bifacial solar panel. And I've had this together for about a week. Now I bought the vegetable plants, you know, already sprouted uh, and they were going pretty well before I got them. Uh, now they've grown quite a bit in a week. Now there's several benefits beyond just being able to produce two things in one spot. One of the benefits to the plants is they receive some shading so they're not so they're not constantly under the sun uh, so like right now this panel is facing south so in the morning i get the morning sun coming in from the side on the plants and then high noon the plants are fully shaded so they get a nice break and then in the afternoon they get the sun coming in from the side of this side right here. Now the other benefit is you're, you should have less evaporation. So you'll have, you'll have to provide these plants less water, right? Because they're going to be shaded for a period of time in the day and they're not going to be drying out. Now, of course, it's raining today, as you can see. Um, and the one, I think the one trouble that I've I'm having with this setup is obviously it's not going to get natural rain because this solar panel is is shielding the plants from uh, receiving the rainfall. So I'm gonna, I need to come up with something. Obviously I can get the runoff from the solar panel so maybe I need to store it uh, somehow and then I could manually water. I guess there's a possibility of having it automatically run off and then run back to the individual pots so yeah those are just five gallon buckets you can find videos all over youtube of how to build a raised bucket garden and that's really what this is <laughs> but with the addition of the caster so i can move it around and the solar panel on top that's the modifications that i've made to it seems like the rain's letting up here let's take a closer look So here we go. Look at there. So this is a Japanese eggplant. And I got a nice one growing right there. Uh, got a nice flower there. Uh, I've got zucchini squash growing here. I don't have anything actually growing. It's just the plant itself's growing. Tomato, no fruit quite yet, but I do see some flowers coming on. I've got some kind of pepper here. This is a bell pepper. Um, this is a habanero. We got basil, jalapeno. I've got jalapenos on there and an okra. <laughs> now also, I don't know quite what's gonna happen when all these really start to grow out. I mean, am I gonna have enough room? That's another thing, I'm not sure. But the plants do seem quite happy. Um, I do have one spot on this bell pepper. It looks like a burn, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what vegetables are the best for this kind of setup, but these do seem to be doing quite well. All right, here we are. We finally got a sunny day. We had to wait a few days here. We had lots of rain, but as you can see, we've got the sun coming in from this side. And right now it's only getting just the edge of these plants because we're pretty much midday. And as you can see, the shadow is getting to where it's starting to align. It probably in the next 30 minutes to an hour, it'll be aligned to where the sun is directly overhead <laughs> but yeah the plants are doing even better you know it's it's been a few let's see it's been 
Well, I think it's been about four days. And look at the zucchini squash. Boy, it is just taking off. This thing's just growing like crazy. I think this is the one that's probably going to want to take over. <laughs> yeah, and uh, my eggplant looks like it's getting a little bit bigger. All right, so the buckets with the soil here. Uh, one thing I did with the soil, I didn't use just plain garden soil. I thought it was a little bit too light. I, I wanted more weight in these buckets to try to hold this down. <laughs> so I mixed garden soil, topsoil, and sand. Uh, I used more garden soil. I don't know the exact ratios that I used, <laughs> but I, I added the sand and the topsoil so I could give these buckets a little bit more weight so that they can help ballast this system. Now, uh, obviously I'm no engineer. I don't know the calculations and I haven't ran any calculations to determine how much weight it would be needed down here to keep this thing put in high wind situations. <laughs> uh, so that would be something that you'd need to consult somebody that knows what they're talking about on that. I'm not that guy. I've just put these in here and and it feels okay for me. But yeah, I can't, I can't lift it up myself. It's pretty heavy. And the casters I did, I already had these casters. I think these are five inch. I had two sets, so I put four on the, the back. So there's one, two, three, four, and then four on the front. Uh, may not be the best caster solution. It's just what I had and I didn't want to just go buying new ones. It'll move. I wouldn't say I'd I wouldn't say I'd want to just regularly be dragging this around my yard. It's uh that would be a, a real hassle. But uh you know, it'll move. You know, if you need to reposition it or move it somewhere else, you can get it there. All right, guys. So well, we had some sun, but now we've got clouds over. <laughs> Let's, uh, what I want to do, I want to hook up a power station and get some electricity from this panel. Hopefully the sun comes out by the time I go grab my power station. Okay, looks like that cloud moved. And I've got my Anchor C1000 handy, so we'll plug it up. And see and see this thing producing some power all right so we've got 160 up oh, over 200 watts now 449 Ooh, 492 501 <laughs> and we just hit 501. Now we're getting clouds again. No. <laughs> oh man. Just can't catch a break. Okay, there we go. We got um, the anchor app up. I just saw 502. Now it's saying 498. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, 502. We got our sun back out. Yeah, so yeah, we've seen the shadow slowly moving in here. And it's really starting to get off the plants. I mean, there's still a little bit of an edge here. But by the time that sun moves directly overhead, which is slightly, slightly off this direction, those should be fully shaded. And then it'll move over here and get them from this side. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up the video. I just wanted to show you my little project here. I'll throw any links down in the description. Uh, I'll throw these down here. I like these little solar mounts right here. And I'll throw the links to 
the casters, which you probably can find better casters for this. Maybe some larger or more heavy duty ones. But uh, yeah, drop me a comment down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you got any suggestions of how I can improve this, throw them down there. I'd love to hear it. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one.